So bless the Lord, bless the Lord, we give God praise, we give God thanks. Once again, we are in the studio, the rebuilding of the world's program is on the air. We give God thanks for yet another opportunity we can come and share the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. If you're homes, if you're in your cars, if you're just uh, in your workplace, wherever you are, the word of God is coming to you live from the city of radio studio. We give God thanks once again to be here. We pray that God will bless you tonight. We give God thanks for our members and sponsors of this radio program. We bless them, the members of the Dynamite Tabernacle, and the read of this W, or Dyla Ann Paul, or Pastor John Sobers. We are in the studio tonight. We thank God for His goodness, His loving kindness, and His tender mercies towards us because God truly is a good God. We are in the season of Christmas. We are in that time where we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm sure that many are making preparations of various things, but we want to let you know that God loves you, He cares for you, and He has the best uh, things in store for you. Amen. God has your best interests at heart, yes. and He wants Amen. to meet every need in your life. And the best uh, the best means He provided is the, the Lord Jesus Christ, His Son, and the Word of God. That, the Word of God can bring you to that place where you recognize that Jesus Christ has come to seek and to save those that are lost. He's come to bring deliverance, to bring hope, and to bring uh, bring your lives up from the downhill, from some here, from the uttermost to the uppermost. Amen. Uh, and we give God thanks for His goodness. We have our promise for us in the studio with us tonight. We are going to give our opportunity to ask you a word of greeting before we turn over to our apostle God. Blessed be the name of the Lord and good night to our listeners. Another time we want to thank God for the opportunity to come into this studio and to share the love of God with you, share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you. It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to give praise unto thy name, O Most High God. We want to bless him tonight and we bless you listeners and we pray as you continue to listen to the night I pray that the Spirit of God will quicken your heart as the word comes forward. In Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 it says, The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them have the light shine. And then in at the same Isaiah chapter 16, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. As you hear this word tonight, that, that gospel of Jesus Christ is like light coming into your dark situations. I pray that you'll stay tuned. I pray that your heart will be open as the light of the glorious gospel shines upon you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Paris Paris. So the light has come, the light of the world, Jesus Christ. So we pray he will shine in our hearts, shine in your situation. We give God thanks. At this time, we're going to turn over to our apostle. Clark. I'm sure the Lord has downloaded something in his spirit that can touch your heart tonight, and touch your life. In Jesus' name, what would be Praise the name of the Lord and good night, Barbados, to those of you in the region, those of you who are listening internationally, those uh, following us on Facebook. Even those who are listening in the UK, we want to greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. And we want to say season's greetings to you and your family. Yes. We pray God's continued blessings upon you as you continue to put your trust and confidence in Him. Amen. This is a wonderful season that we are in, and it brings back so many things that we can reflect on, especially the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, even as a babe, and to be our Savior. Tonight, I want to look to the Gospel of St. Luke. Amen. Chapter 1, verse 37. This is the text that I will be dealing with. St. Luke Gospel, chapter 1, verse 37. And it reads, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. We understand from research that the period between the writing of Malachi and Matthew were considered as 400 silent years. Yes, that's right. To some, 400 silent years where there was no open word. There was no more prophetic voice. And it appears to some as though God was silent. Yet I know even though it appeared to be 400 silent years, mm -hmm. God is never silent. Amen. He is always behind the scene, even right. when you don't see him or hear him. He is always at work. That's right. Amen. And we see this was a time that the nation of Israel 
is back again into the land of Palestine after the Babylonian captivity. But they are under the domination of the great world power, the medium Persian Empire in Jerusalem. And it is a period of darkness. Even the word of God tells us in the book of Isaiah, gross darkness right. has covered the people. Mm -hmm. But we are thankful to God for that light that shines into the darkness. Right. Right. We're seeing right. that it was a period where there was frustration, where there was a period where there was no hope. People were looking for some kind of deliverer or deliverance to come. Right. Some were looking for salvation. Yes. But we're glad that God is the God of times and seasons. Amen. He right. moves within times and seasons. Amen. And through the darkness, he's able to prevail. Yes. And through the darkness, he's able to bring a season of possibilities yes. and a season of miracles. Amen. You see, God has always had a plan. Yes. Because we read in the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, God had already knew what he was about to do. Amen. And he says there, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head, and thy head, and shall bruise his heel. Yes. God already had a plan to rescue man, a plan yes. of salvation. Yes. We see if we serve a God that does not uh, operate from shock or mm -hmm. operate from surprise. Yes, he knows yeah, the man. beginning from the ending. Yes, and we see that God, in the fullness of time, as Galatians chapter 4, 4 tells us, right. in the fullness of time, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law. Right. If you look within the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, we see that in the silence, God is about to do a visitation. That's right. For we read in the sixth month of the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God mm -hmm. onto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Right. I want you to note here tonight that this is a city not a city of renown. I do believe that many people do not really know about this city. That's right. But God see it fit in his purpose to visit this place. That's right. In the eyes of many, it has seemed to be as nothing. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, we serve a God who takes nothing and makes it into something. That's right. we, take a, we serve a God that comes when you may be overlooked. Yes. And he brings you from behind to the front. Yes. He causes your name to be made known. Yes. And we see right there within that city of Nazareth, there was a young virgin girl mm -hmm. by the name of Mary. Yes. And this tells us a lot about, about Mary. Even though she was living in a place that was not well known, yet this young girl kept herself pure yes. before God. Yes. Yet this young girl sought to serve God in spirit and in truth and to observe the things that she had to do to bring honor and glory to God. Yes. We yes. see also not only she was a virgin, but she was engaged, she was exposed mm -hmm. to a young man by the name of Joseph right. from the house of David. And we see that God is about to intervene into her life. Yes. And I say that sometimes this is what God does. He intervenes into our space yes. when we are least expecting. Right. God just shows up yes. when we are not thinking. I believe she was just living her life, yes. going about her plans, yes. having within her mind that she's going to get married. But God intervenes in her space by sending the angel Gabriel, yes, a yes. messenger from God. Mm -hmm. And you see here as in verse 28, he greets her and he says to her, Hail thou our holy favor yes. of the Lord. Yes. I don't believe that she was not even thinking about herself as, as, right. as much, but God was thinking upon her. Yes. God through the time has seen this young woman for who he was going to choose to yes. bring about his glory, yes. to bring about his honor. Mm -hmm. I want to say sometimes when we're not thinking much, you know, about ourselves, the eyes of God are upon us. Yes. The yes. unseen eyes of God are upon us, and it is on us for good. Yes. And I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight. You may feel left out. You may not yes. feel much in yourself. But God is here to remind you that God has remembered you. Amen. And your seen eyes of God is also upon you. Yes, and man. even though within yourself you may not feel as much, God is saying to you, you are highly favored. Yes, and the Lord God is with you. Yes, we see here that God reminds Mary 
that she is blessed. Mm -hmm. Blessed among all the women because God said faith in his foreknowledge to select or to hand faith or to choose this young virgin girl yes. among yes. all the women of I was living it in that time yes. to bring forth his son, to bring forth or manifest his glory. Amen. It says that when she received the salutation as like any human being, she was troubled. She was yeah. afraid yeah. of the sin because of the manner of salutation. I do believe that she would not have uh, received any kind of greeting like this before. Oh, and so fear would have come into her heart. Yes. But here the angel of God is reminding her that she is not only highly favored and that she is not only blessed, but he is reminding her that she does not have to fear. Yes. He outlines who it is and who has sent him. Yes. He reminds her that it is God who has sent him to her. Yes. And he says, fear not, Mary, for thou hast what? Found oh, favor of God. God. Yes. It is a beautiful thing to find favor with God. Right. Even as we read, even when Jesus Christ, he grew up in stature, the Bible tells us that he found Favor with God and also with man. Right. It is a beautiful thing when we find that favor with God. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter sometimes what human being or what man may say about us. Yeah. But as long as we have found favor with God, right. that is what matters. Yeah. And we see the favor of God was upon her. Yeah. I'm here to tell someone tonight to or at least be thinking about yourself that the favor of God has sought you out. Amen. The favor of God is upon you. Amen. And here we see that he was able to give her the message yes. that what the message that God would have given to him of what God was going to do yes. in her life. Amen. She says, and you shall conceive in your womb. This is something that is um supernatural yes. this is something that is beyond her ability yes. this is something that has never taken place yet mm -hmm. in, right. in the world but god was going to do it through her Hallelujah. nevertheless yeah. he said you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son yes. and you shall call his name jesus yes. here god through his foreknowledge was about to shift things in the earth right. was about to invade the earth yes. and bring about that dispensation of grace right. because man was looking for an escape a hope yes. and here god was going to bring into fulfillment mm -hmm. his word in the earth Amen. and use mary as a vessel yes. to manifest that glory yes. within the earth he says to her and he shall be great yes. and he shall be called the son of the highest yes. the lord god shall give unto him the throne of david yes. because remember at this time period as well we read and we research that there was no one really on the throne at this time because he being a person and those would have taken yes. over yes. uh sort of invaded so there was not really anyone from the seed of david that was on the throne yes. but the word of god comes through here in verse 32 says and he shall be great yes. and he shall be called the son of the highest and the lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David, yes. and also yes. speaking of his rulership, he said that he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. Uh, for, of his kingdom, there shall be no end. Yes. I do believe that Mary was startled within her mind of all of these uh, sins from the angel Gabriel. Yes. And said that the angel, the Mary said unto Mary, Hope Mary said unto him after receiving all this salutation from him and these things that God would, would have wanted to do within her life. He says, How shall this thing be? Seeing I know not a man. Wow. Because here Mary is already exposed to Joseph. Yeah. She's expected to be married. Yeah. But here now she's receiving a word from God that she is going to be um bring forth the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And she's wondering because naturally this cannot be something that can be done. Right. But we see that. Uh, we see here she questioned, and God is able to explain to her how this thing is going to come about. Yes. He says, and the angel said unto her, the Holy Ghost yes. shall come upon thee, yes. and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Yes. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Mm -hmm. You know, within her little yes. finite mind, she was wondering, how could this thing be? But we see here, 
God was saying the Holy Spirit. And we know that this same Holy Spirit was there from the beginning. Amen. When the earth was without form or without void, Amen. it was the Spirit of God that brewed upon the waters Amen. on the face of the deep. Yes. And as God spoke the word, the Holy Spirit activated Amen. and brought life. Amen. And as the word went forth, we see the sea, all types of species of fish. Yes. We see all types of species of herbs. Yes. And then we see all the wondrous works of God being performed Amen. as above as the result of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this is how God achieves his work yes. in the earth yes. or any vessel. Yes. God, via the Holy Spirit, Amen. praise the name of the Lord, Amen. comes by and he does his work and he um, does his work manifested in, in, in the earth. That is the, what God can do. Amen. It may seem as though it is impossible with you, yes. but it is not impossible with God Amen. because God has the the ability man. to do what man cannot do. Yeah. And I'm saying to you, just like Mary would have asked that question when it was uh, told to her of all of these great things that would have been accomplished through her uh, by bringing forth the Lord Jesus. Maybe tonight, even as I speak to you, you may be challenged with various circumstances. Right. We're not we, we're not talking about bringing forth now, uh, 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 having a virgin birth, no. but we are bringing the word of God relevant to you yes. where you are at. And maybe tonight you are in a difficult position, right. a difficult situation, yes. uh, in, a, in, a, in a situation that you never expected yes. and uh, there are many questions that are going through your mind wow. you're wondering uh, how is this thing going to work out yeah. how is this thing going to happen because in your eyes uh, it seems as though it is, will never happen or will never turn mm -hmm. I'm here to remind you that that same Holy Spirit uh, yes. that was from the beginning that uh, wow. uh, God through him manifested power even right there in the book of Genesis uh, when God made man and formed him out of the dust uh, wow. and God brought Breathe within man. The Bible says that man became a living soul. And the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, yes. that God breathed into man oh, so yes. that to make him alive. Yeah. I'm here to tell you that if God can make a man out of the clay, yeah. uh, he can do anything. Amen. There's a lot of people that have problems with believing the word. I say, how oh, something like that can happen? That can never happen. But they forget that it's God who gives life, Amen. who can take dust and form it and shape Amen. it and breathe life. That I'm telling you that God can do anything Amen. tonight. Amen. And so as long as you look to God and call upon the Holy Spirit, Amen. whatever you are up against, yes. whatever challenge or your back is against the wall yes. or how difficult it may seem, God fire the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. as you call on Him Amen. is able to change your oh, situation. Yes, yes. It's able to turn things for you. Hallelujah. It's able to shed light into your situation. Hallelujah. It's able to give you grace and able to bring you through. And you will be amazed to yourself. How did I get out of this? How did I get here? It's because it's not you but it is God at work yeah. by the Holy Spirit yeah. in your life. And so I'm encouraging others tonight, yes, wherever you are, wherever you found yourself, you can call on the Holy Spirit. That is what Jesus said in the Word. He said, it's expedient for me to go away, yes. but I'm not going to leave you comfortless. Yes. And when I get there, I'm going to pray to my Father that he sends somebody just like me. Oh, yes. I'm not just going to leave you alone, but I'm going to pray to the Father to send you another yes. Comforter, someone that will stay alongside of you, yes. someone that will be your helper, yes. even in difficult situations, yes. even when you don't know where to turn or how to answer what to do. The Holy Spirit, yes. uh, even as it's mentioned here, the power of the highest yes. is able to invade your space, yes. invade yes. your soul, and cause a shift yes. to come about in your situation. Yes. Just as He did it for Mary, He can do it for you yes. because this was a situation that has seemed impossible. It yes. can never work up in the eyes of man. Yes. But with God, as I remind you in verse 37, with God, nothing, every, uh, nothing yes. shall be impossible. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. And we see even she, as she received the word, she see that, you know, for comfort I do believe, she went to her cousin Elizabeth. Yes. And when she went to her cousin Elizabeth on hearing the word also that in her old age, uh, she also had, that was barren, had mm -hmm. conceived. And the Bible tells me that visiting her cousin Elizabeth, mm -hmm. when she got there to greet her, oh, praise the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. the babe 
let within her womb oh, yes. the same and the, that the same Holy Spirit because yes. the, the prophecy was that John will be filled with the Holy Spirit from the womb yes. and that he will bring joy to many. Praise oh, the yeah. name of the Lord. And so when she got there, praise the name of the Lord, oh, babe, let within her womb. Yes. I do believe that that brought a sort of strength and encouragement to her yes. to know that if God could have done it for her cousin Elizabeth, oh, yes. then she could accept and embrace the word of God yes. and that God will be able to come true for her yes. as well. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. I'm here to tell somebody tonight uh, whether the doctor has given you over yes. and have given you a number of days to live yes. or have given you a bad report. Yes. I'm here to tell you tonight uh, that with God, uh, everything uh, is possible. Uh, yes. Amen. Yes. As you put your trust and your confidence uh, in him tonight, yes. uh, he's able to turn uh, that which seem impossible yes. uh, and he's able to make it possible. Yes. All you have to do is to trust in him yes. and yes. apply his word yes. and to call on him. And I'm telling you tonight uh, that he will not disappoint you. Yes. You will not be denied uh, if you call on him, praise the name of the Lord, because he specializes in difficult situations. Oh, he specializes when man has reached extremity, yes. God comes in with his ability yes. and God yes. makes himself manifest and known. Yes. You see, yes. when God allows difficult things to come, you know what he's allowing these difficult things to come? He's allowing these difficult things to come yes. to prove to you and yes. I yes. that he is God yes. and that we must look to him yes. that he has the power to do all yes. things. We yes. serve a God and I'm not just saying it because of saying it's sake, but I've read it through the word yes. of a God that can do anything yes. at all. Yes. And then I have proven it even within my own life yes. that yes. God can do anything. Yes. I, I bring an, a, 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 an example. I remember one time I was driving and I felt a, a uncomfortable pain in my right side. You know, I just feel the pain, but you might not, you know, ignore it at times. But then afterwards, the pain got more severe that I had to go and see what it was all about. And when I went to uh, understand uh, as the ultrasound was done that there was a kidney stone. Uh, and those of you that had that uh, experience that know that that is not uh, an easy thing Lord to go through. Uh, as, the, as the doctor said, you're, you're having a baby boy. <laughs> it is so much pain. Uh, when I went, uh, they were giving me the advice that I would have to get this operation done. Uh, and the amount of money that they quoted uh, for me to get it done. I, I know a way where I was going to get that kind of thousands of dollars just to get a, a procedure like that done. Uh, but I, I remember the word of God. Uh, amen. Uh, and I went back on the word of God. Uh, and even though it, it was a lot of pain, I called on the word of God yeah, and I, yeah. I applied that word to my body. Yeah, and I don't yeah. mind the pain, I applied that word to my body. Yeah. I quoted the word of God. I said, he was wounded uh, for my transgressions. Yeah. He was bruised yeah. for yeah. my yeah. iniquities. Yeah. And the chastisement of my peace yeah. was yeah. upon yeah. him yeah. and for his stripes. I quoted and I quoted. Yeah. And I want to say today that the Lord delivered me. Yeah. And even as it passed, so they don't even know where it's gone. Yeah. But the Lord deliver me from yeah. such yeah. praise the name of the Lord yeah. and set me free by his miraculous power yeah. in the name of Jesus that what I could not have done for myself yeah. God made it possible for yeah. me I'm not yeah. talking it just off of the book but I remember even in the early age of my life yeah. when I was in a primary school stepping out of the house and I believe the outside was damp and yeah. straight so the different temperatures as though something just took place within my body in an instant yeah. and in Instantly, I went crippled from my waist down. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to tell you, it's through the power of prayer. So yeah. when I speak about God, this is this God that can do things that, uh, that are impossible. Yeah. I know who I'm speaking about. Yeah. And I'm encouraging you tonight to, to look to him. That's and because of, through the power of prayer, yeah. today I am walking. Yeah. There's no side effects. Yeah. I'm healed by the divine power yeah. of yeah. the living God. Yeah. Tonight, somebody needs to put their trust yeah. and their confidence. Yeah. In him to know, even though that these are dark times yeah. and these times are seen the hope that's a lot and, and, and seen the door, they do not know what to do. I'm, I'm challenging you tonight yeah. to look to God, yeah. He is mighty and He is very able to yeah. do things that seemingly are impossible yeah. for you. Yeah. And I love it tonight. People are receiving the word. Mary was able to embrace the word. You see, if you want God to do anything. You have to embrace the word. Yes, you have yes. to believe by faith. Yes, and we read in the word that Mary 
praise the name of Lord, on hearing the word, even though she was young, yes. and she would have had a lot of questions within her mind, she opened herself to the word, and she says there in verse 38, be unto me according yes. to thy word. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. That word went to work, and that word was activated, yes. and we yes. see yes. her bringing forth the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. As our Savior today, not only as our Savior, but he's seated at the right hand of the Father, Amen. pleading and making intercession yes. for us. Yes. What a wonderful God yes. we serve. Yes. What a beautiful God he is. Yes. A God that we can trust a God that we can commit our lives over to Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. This, this God that can do the impossible even in Genesis chapter 18 verse 14 when the messengers again, the angels of God went down to Abraham and told him that he would have a son. Mm, the yes. Bible tells that Sarah, she laughed. Yes. Her, because, you know, naturally speaking, age had passed. And it doesn't look possible in the natural. Yes. But we serve a supernatural God tonight. Yes. Amen. I just have to yes. speak the word. And when he speaks the word, things happen yes. at the spoken word. And the Lord had to remind Abraham at that time, he says, is anything difficult yes. for the Lord? I'm yes. saying here tonight, nothing. It's difficult for the Lord. Amen. When we read in Jeremiah chapter 32, 17, the prophet reminds the people of God and he says, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth. But now, now, now think upon that tonight. Mm -hmm. Have you looked up at the heavens lately? Mm -hmm. Have you considered even the very earth? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the same God that I'm talking about. Yes. The one who made the heavens and the earth. Yes. And when you look at it, there's nobody going up there with any ladders or, or anything to repair it. He keeps it. He maintains it. He sustains. Yes. And then the Bible tells me, you're, you're holding all things by the word of his yes. power. Yes. That's the mighty God in whom we serve. He yes. made the heavens and the earth. Yes. And by your great power, and by your stretch out arm, nothing, the word of God tells us in Jeremiah chapter 32, is too difficult for you. Amen. Luke chapter 18 verse 27 tells us the things that are impossible with people or impossible with man yeah. are possible oh, God. with God. Yeah. Even when, the, when Jesus was speaking at a time and he was saying it is difficult for a rich man to enter oh, into the kingdom of God. Yeah. He said a, a, a camel can pass through the needle yeah. uh, uh, and get through easy. Yeah. He was not talking about the, the normal needle that you may know but the small gate yeah. and then there's, there's this big right. gate and then there's small gate. He said right. camel will be able to pass through that easy than a rich man to enter into the kingdom. And then a question was asked to him that who shall be saved? Lord. Who is going to be saved then Lord? Right. But this thing's so difficult. I, I let how Jesus re replied Amen. even in the saving of souls. He said when man and this is impossible, but with God, all oh, things are possible. Yeah. And you may have tonight an unsaved husband, an yeah. unsaved wife, yeah. you may have unsaved children, yeah. and it seems as though the devil is on the rampage. Yeah. But I want to tell you, keep trusting God, yeah. keep on praying grounds, yeah. and God, who specializes yeah. in the impossible, yeah. is able to yeah. turn yeah. them around. We are yeah. seeing him do yeah. it already, yeah. and he can do it again yeah. in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. Romans chapter 4, verse 21 tells us even as it refers to Abraham when he received the word from God, Sarah laughed. But the Bible tells me that Abraham staggered not at the promise. He hold on to the promise of God. And in Romans 4, 21 says, and being fully persuaded. Yeah. You gotta be fully persuaded. That's you can't come to God doubting around. The Bible says, every man come to God, he must believe. Yes. And that he must believe that he is a, what, a rewarder yeah. of them that diligently yeah. seek him. Yeah. And so as Abraham received the word, he embraced the word. Yes. Uh, and he, he, he believed God against all odds yes, of yes. what it was even against his body though it was dead yes. he was fully persuaded that God what he had promised he was also yes. able to perform yes. that's the God that I am giving to you tonight in, the, in this um, world that we are living in, we need someone yes. that praise the name of the Lord that is bigger than man that we can hold on to. Yes. I am giving you God tonight. Amen. Yes. The yes. God that made us as the word of God reminds us and not we ourselves. Yes. I am introducing you to him yes. if you call on him. Sinner man tonight, while you're there driving your car down the highway, your happy station on, I want to say that God can save you. Hallelujah. If you look to Amen. him, he is Amen. able to turn your life around. Yeah. You may say with me, yourself, I, I, I'm so bad. I have done so many bad things. I, 
I, I, I, I don't think I can be saved, but I want to tell you that God is able to turn your life around, Amen. even as he did it for Saul on the road to Damascus, Amen. and turn his life around for good, Amen. and make him a preacher of the gospel. Amen. God is able to turn your life around. Amen. We love it tonight. Those of us, those of you that are hearing us all across this island, all in the region and internationally, in the, in the, in the midst of all of, and it's happening in the changing world. You know this world is changing? Amen. Oh, and it's changing so rapid, and things are happening so fast, yeah. but we are here to remind you to put your trust in God. Yeah. God, don't, 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 don't fear tonight. God is with you. Oh, Hold yeah. on to the promises of God tonight. I know that as long as you put your trust in Him, Luke 1 37, for with God, with God, with God. Oh, the Bible says that faith is the help of man, oh, yeah. and we cannot put our trust in princes, nor horses, yes. nor in, you know, go down to Egypt, or none of these things, but we must put our trust in God, oh, because yeah. he's the one who's going to work it out, oh, he's the one who's going to bring it to pass, oh, he's Jesus. the one that is going to bring the favor in oh, our lives, yeah. he's the one that is going to help us, so look to him tonight, in the name of God, I encourage oh, you yeah. with these words from the word of God, and I know these words can never lie, or they oh, will yeah. never change, but I have the ability, even yes. as they go through the atmosphere and the air, the Bible says they will not return void, Amen. but even now as I speak, they are accomplishing, they are accomplishing, yes. God yes. is working. Yes. Hallelujah, God, God is working. Just yes. as he worked up behind the scenes, yes. it was dark times yes. when there was, yes. there's no, there no voice. Right now as I speak, God is working through this Hallelujah. word yes. and bringing hope and encouragement to somebody's heart. So the Lord bless you yes. richly and real good yes. until yes. next Monday night. Shalom to you and to your family. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Amen.